Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I think I owe at least a few million people in the world a sincere apology. Because someone pointed out to me that in my last video, in which I calculated the size of the penumbra when you take the Earth radius into account, that I had made in that calculation a mistake of astronomical proportions, really a blunder of astronomical proportions. <laughs> uh, he was right. He pointed out to me that the value d that I calculate in that video and which I wrote down is about 87% of the Earth radius, that that should really be 85%. My God, what a shocker! I failed so bitterly as a physics teacher. Therefore my apologies. Yes, a blunder of astronomical proportions is an understatement. I concluded that the size of the penumbra, if you take the Earth radius into account, is about 50 kilometers lower than if you don't take it into account. So it's about 6,700 kilometers. And that number is about the same whether D is 87% of the Earth radius or 85% of the Earth radius. I always assume, by the way, that the Earth radius is 6,400 kilometers. Well, that's not accurate to three-digit precision either, because the actual radius of the Earth, I think, is closer to 6,370 kilometers. So, if you use 6,370 kilometers and you calculate what the penumbra is, you again find approximately 6,700 kilometers. All these little differences are, as we physicists say, they're in the noise. <laughs> they don't matter. But this video is meant to correct this astronomical blunder. It's true that my 87% of the Earth's radius should have been 85%. Oh boy, I'm afraid that none of you now want to be friends with me anymore.